I'm Chris, and I want to help you get beautiful recordings. So recently, I bought a whole bunch of audio interfaces for my upcoming review videos, and I've been testing and comparing these in every way I can think of. Testing the converters, the preamps, distortion, harmonics, the ease of use, overall value, and I'll be doing separate videos on all of that stuff, but testing the quality of the headphone outputs was also important to me, and I wanted to do a really good job of it. So first off, let's take a look at some measurements. I tested the noise floor coming out of the headphone outputs on all of these. The noisiest one was the Behringer UMC 204 HD. You could hear the noise very faintly at normal listening levels if all the other sound sources are turned off. So if it's silent, you can just hear a hint of white noise going on there. And as soon as the source signal comes in, you can't tell that there's any noise there at all. The second noisiest one was the PreSonus Revelator. Now, even though it was the second noisiest, there was almost no noise at all. Like, you could pretty much not even hear any noise. You could hear the noise really faintly if you squint and maybe kind of crouch your head a little bit and you're listening really closely. That's what it took to hear the very subtle noise floor at normal listening levels when there's no other sound present. And then the rest of them were even quieter than that, with the quietest one being the Motu M2. And on this one, the noise floor was so low, I couldn't hear it at all. However, my other tests did reveal it actually had some other issues with it, so I'll be talking about that in my best audio interface of 2024 video. Now for frequency response, most of them were ruler flat throughout the main audible range. The M-Audio Air had a bit of a boost in the higher treble frequencies by like... 0.3 of a decibel, so still pretty insignificant, but it did deviate more than most of them. So on paper, there are some differences, but how significant are these differences in real-world listening tests? So I came up with a testing method that would be as revealing as possible. I set up two computers, each with their own audio interface, and put identical music files on each one. I would hit play on both computers at the same time, and I have this little button that I made that would switch from one source to the other. When I did the test, my headphones of choice were the Edemotic Research Evos. These are about $500, and they are the clearest monitors that I have ever heard. Rachel used a pair of AKG K601s, which used to retail for about $300, and she also used a pair of ISK HD 9999s, and those retail for about $100, and even though they're a lot cheaper, they're incredibly detailed. And Dana used a pair of Hi-Fi Man Sendera headphones. Now, for those of you who are part of my Facebook group, you already know the results because I posted it as soon as I did the testing. If you're not part of my Facebook group, you might want to check it out, and I'm there to answer any questions you might have about your recording journey. So if you want me to help you out, feel free to join that Facebook community called Get Beautiful Recordings. So which of these audio interfaces did sound the best? Well, to be honest, the results were a little bit unexpected. In my initial test, where I was just plugging the headphones in and out of each audio interface, I couldn't hear any difference at all. That's what inspired me to come up with the more controlled and more precise testing method. I spent a lot of time doing critical listening to all of these audio interfaces, and I could not hear any difference at all. So I reached out to a few other people to conduct the test as well. I didn't tell any of them what the previous testing results were. Each person took their time, listened extremely carefully, and came to their own independent conclusions. I'm Dana. I'm a producer and engineer. My weapon of choice today was the uh, Haifaman Sundara headphones. Coming into this, I thought there might be some difference in audio quality between them, but if you really take the time to balance the volume between the A-B comparison, there's no discernible quality difference that I was able to detect between any of these things. I tried this all. I couldn't hear any differences. So what'd you think? There's no, there's no audible difference between any of them. <laughs> so four of us conducted this test, and we all independently came to the same conclusion that there is no audible difference in the sound quality of the headphone outputs of any of these audio interfaces. Now, there are a lot of audio interfaces that weren't part of this test, but I think it's safe to say that if there are any differences in the sound quality of the headphone output, it'll be extremely subtle. So if you like this kind of video, don't forget to hit subscribe. i got a lot more videos coming on gear reviews, tests, and tips and tricks. And you might like this video right here. So if that interests you, check it out. Hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.